<clears throat> International call. Hi mom, have you ever been to Arsene Chow Park? Hi everybody, my name is Daniel and I live in Chengdu. A lot of my friends want to come visit me in Chengdu and um, I think whenever they come, I'm definitely going to take them here. This is the Ar Xian Chao Park, which is located in the east suburb memory area of Chenghua District. Which is like one of the coolest and most interesting parks that I found here in Chengdu. Look at the map of the park. I can't see anything. It's all frozen. That's how cold it gets in Chengdu in winter. Let's see what it's actually like. Right, see this is a green, it's like the park is, is uh, in a shape of a green line because it's actually an old railway. Oh, where are we now? That's a good question. I am not so sure. I think we're just somewhere here. I think, yes, we're here. But what time is it now? It's like uh, around 9, 9.30 a.m. And I see a lot of people doing Tai Chi here. That's very sweet. Let's, let's go and check it out. Well, the moves might seem to be easy, but if you want to do them the right way, it's it's much harder than it looks. I feel like I've done some morning exercise. Feeling much better. <laughs> I'm ready for the day. Look at these green trains. Uh, they're actually from the 20th century and they're real. This is the only art park in Chengdu that focuses on the railway relics. It's, it's covering the area of around 37,000 square meters. Back in the day, this was like uh, a huge industrial area with a big factory, a storage uh, place, and a big railway company here as well. It brings this nostalgic feeling to the people that come here. You can literally, you know, touch the history once you're here. And it's all, it's all really old and very authentic. This red and white construction can be seen from the far and uh, it also looks like a miniature replica of Chengdu's uh, Monument Valley. It was reconstructed from the railway station that was here before and now it's an art gallery which is very cool. If you look at it, um, you can see the sun is important for us today because you can see the light and the shadows playing depending on the time of the day in this area and it's very cool. A very interesting place for this park. Here's the entrance and we're gonna see the exhibition they're having here today. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is our like uh, exhibition based on uh, competition. Uh, we gather all the children here. We find a designer to uh, design this space, and we want to build like uh, a space outside a city a little bit, so mm -hmm. people can come to this space and be like more to be more quiet, be more peace. And we can check out the third floor. Okay. It's, it's, it is a very beautiful place, yeah. Wow, this is a lovely place. And it's, it's, the weather is so good today. It's a, like an open area for the public. They can come up here, uh, grab their coffee and have a chat or something. Oh, do you hear the sound? Let's see what it is. The train is coming. It's time to board. Hello, 
啊，这边请。好。So this is our special Chengdu hot pot train. It's one of a kind. There is only one, and if you come here, you cannot miss it. Hmm. Good. Chengdu people are very romantic. Easy as this. You're on a train, on your own journey, traveling somewhere. On a cold winter day, you're feeling warm, looking out the window, thinking about life. The concept of a city park has been a while. Everyone has heard it, and the idea is basically not to create a lot of parks in a city, but to create a city in a lot of parks. Cross the boundaries between the history and the nowadays. To cross the boundaries between nature and the urban jungle. It was Daniel, and if you know any parks that are as cool as this one, let us know. Bye bye.